Hello, my name is Norma Folds and I'm a visual artist based in the North West. So first of all I want to start with some of the materials that we're going to use. Um, I've got some um, polyboard. I've got a square of polyboard that I've bought but if you don't have that and you don't want to go to the expense of buying it, you could use um, one of these um, food trays, leftover food trays, um, which I've cleaned, or the bottom of a pizza base is a good one. Um, it works just as well. And um, you might find that you've got one of these at home. So the polyboard is nice and flat, smooth, and ready for us to go. Um, you just need to cut the food container um, so that you've got the edges and, the, and you're left with the flat base. Um, some of the other, other things that I've got here are my rollers. These are um, some rollers that I've bought and are ready for the job. Um, but this one is an ordinary painter's decorator's um, roller which will work just as well. So you don't have to buy any new equipment. Um, I've got some um, printing ink, um, but you could use acrylic paint, um, some pens, some pencils, some tape, and you're probably ready to go. So I've started by looking at some pictures of Blackburn. Uh, if you're out and about, then you won't need the pictures, you're just going to do your work in situ. But I'm working in the studio and so I'm using some pictures as reference. And so the first thing I need to do are some drawings. And I'll probably do quite a few drawings. Um, I might look at more details. I might do them in my style, quite sketchy. You can draw straight onto your polyboard. Um, or you can do what I'm going to do here and I'm going to transfer my image uh, by using the pastels. Um, if you've got a piece of carbon paper, you could put a piece of carbon paper up. Or I'm using these soft chalk pastels to put a layer of colour on the back of my image. Make it quite thick. I'm placing my image on top of my polyboard and now I've got to be careful not to touch it too much. And to keep it still, I'm just going to use a little bit of tape so I don't have to touch it too much. And I'm just going to use an ordinary biro and it, sometimes it's good to use a, a, a different colour from your drawing so you can see which lines you've gone over. I'm just tracing over, starting quite lightly and then going a little deeper to press the lines in underneath. And you just have to go over all your lines. The polyboard is quite thin and you don't want to break it and you don't want to poke your pen right through. So you do have to take your time. And it will take a little time to do all of your drawing. Take your time and get all the detail.
you need to be able to feel with your finger the marks that your pen has made. If your pen hasn't made quite a deep enough mark, just go over gently. It's better to go over a line gently three times than to go really deep just the first line. The polyboard tends to rip a little bit if you go too deep. Just putting in all those lines, making sure they join up now you can see on the polyboard. And taking your time with these lines, what's going to make it a really clear print. And these are relief prints. So we start off with the flat surface, we add the lines, and then we put ink on the top surface. So ink doesn't go into the lines that we've pressed in. They will stay white, or whatever colour your background paper is. Just be careful not to go all the way through to the other side. I'm just feeling all the surface just to make sure I've got those lines deep enough. Happy? All the details. We can start the printing.
So I'm going to use some printed ink. And I'm going to use my little red roller. You don't need too much ink, but to start with a small amount, and go back and put some more on, and to have a big splodge. But first of all, I'm going to roll out that ink so that it coats the whole of my roller, and then I'm not pressing on with the roller. But I'm using the roller to transfer the ink onto the polyboard. You don't want a big blob of ink in any one place, but you do need to have a good even covering all over. gently backwards and forwards on the diagonal right to the edge until you're happy that it's completely covered. Now you can get a bit messy doing this so it is useful to have a tissue or a towel so that you can wipe your fingers before you go to the next stage. I always like to put my paper on top of my print. Try and position it in the middle and use the heel of the hand to press down on the paper. Give it a quarter turn, press down again. Quarter turn, press down again. Just have a little look to see how it's printed. Now, if you want to peel it back halfway, you can put the paper back down, it will go exactly in the right place. You can just give it a little bit, bit more of a burnish to try and get the best print possible. And this time I'm going to have ink 
Well, I don't think I've put quite enough ink on, but I'm quite pleased. with the lines that I've made. Just need more ink. But that's okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more ink on and make a second print. Ink up in the same way, making sure that you cover the whole of the plate. Backwards and forwards, make sure you get the edges. Position your paper in the middle and flatten down. It's a bit better. Quarter turn and press down again. Quarter turn, press down. Now that's given us just a black and white image. But if you wanted to, you could add some colour. Instead of just using the roller, you can apply some paint with a brush. All you need to do is clean off your plate. Just with some warm soapy water, taking care not to snap it. And then I'm using some acrylic paint. So I'm just going to get my colours ready. I'm going to keep it quite simple. Some blue for the sky. Browns for the brickwork. So you want to work quite quickly. A little bit of water just to make it flow better.
then again I like to put the paper over the top line it up carefully gently press at first and then a quarter turn Do need to be careful with the kind of paper you're using. This paper I'm using today is quite thin and sometimes the acrylic paint does stick a little bit. You might find that if you do this method with the paint you need to use a better quality paper. Have fun, have a go. Thanks for watching.